Good evening, Ken Brown. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Denise. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks so much for joining us uh, and uh, giving us your time and your insight to your studio this week and uh, ready to crack on with loads of questions people have been asking. Uh, uh, um, so I want to uh, just start with um, how you, how the, how's the lockdown been, first of all? Has it um, affected? At the start, at the start, I think it was like it was normal because for me it was just that's what I do during the day. I mind the kids during the day and work at night. So the worst part was the schools being off, <laughs> and the homeschooling. <laughs> I think everyone had enough of that for a while. And then, but um, now, as work wise, it, it didn't affect my my schedule work wise anyway because I normally do that anyway, work at night. So I work at night time. Okay. Yeah. Hence, maybe all the dark colours. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've got good lighting in your studio, have you? <laughs> I? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, I walk best at night because I think the phones are off. People are, you know, business is over, that type of thing. Um, I just find night, night time is, is good for me. Was that always the case? But I have since, but since since the kids now are getting a little bit older, I have mm -hmm. a lot more time during the day, which is a complete different thing for a new thing for me. Like I'll drop them off to school at nine, and I've got from nine o'clock down till half two to paint, mm -hmm. which is which is brilliant. I'm, I'm starting to get into that whole uh, the, the the daytime painting, which is lovely, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me, did you always want to be an artist? Um, no, I never never thought I'd be an artist. Um, but you were always creative. You, I, I remember you you were making these clocks at the beginning. So you always always kind of did something creative, and then you were doing framing and. Yeah, well, I started. I, I did music for years. I was always mm -hmm. into music, and while I was doing music, I started studying calligraphy. And it was true calligraphy that I acrylic paint and then it's funny i have a piece here which you, I, I knew we were going to talk a bit earlier about getting started so i have one of the first pieces i ever did i was in the studio there oh. looking through bits and pieces so i found a piece here i don't know if you can see oh, that wow. that's all wow. you that? hand on. yeah yeah and then I, I made it up to a bigger piece it's like eight foot by four piece I still have it, and it's one of the first pieces I ever did. But in oh. here is where I started messing around with acry acrylics. And I just loved the way it is. And then as the years progressed, the, the calligraphy got smaller, and the paintings, the art work started getting bigger, you know. And then I started on a couple wow. of pieces. People were interested. And then I got a, uh, a residency down in uh, Kilridic. Mm -hmm. And that's where I discovered myself that I wanted to be a landscape painter. And it so was just you, the, that the re residency did you was that when you first started painting down there no i was painting bits and pieces before that right. and then i got a connection to uh Kilridic, showed them a couple of paintings and they said to me listen go down and do a residency so i, I think I've, I've done about eight residencies down there now at this stage mm. but residency before that i was just doing experiments finding out where i wanted to go painting wise because i'm not trained i said i'm self-taught mm -hmm. so i didn't know where i was going i was mixing paints i was loving the textures mm -hmm. and then uh when i was the, the first resident down there i really discovered okay this is what i love i love the darkness of the bottom rising mm -hmm. up with these light colors and it turns out that it was a, a landscape all the time that i was trying to do but yeah. I only discovered myself that I wanted to be a landscape paper, painter when I was down in Kilridic. Wow. That's so where that's I all started. A, yeah, a huge inspiration on your work, wasn't it? Massive, yeah. Well, Ireland in general, with the light, it, like artists from around mm -hmm. the world, it's been known that the light in Ireland is completely different to where, anywhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I think it was light. And then just the scenery down in Kilridic. I don't know if you've ever been. If you, yeah. if you know the place, you, you know yeah. the place, obviously, and you've seen the, the cottages down there, but just the fact that you're down there on your own, and it's a weird because you, you sort of discover to yourself, like, it's when you're down there, you sort of go, right, I am an artist now, because you've been given this opportunity to paint. 
you know, so you start, you get more. That's what it is. I got more confident with the work. Confidence. And then it just yeah. developed in the studio. Then I'd come home and then I, I, I had something to focus on. I knew where to go now with the work. So when I was in the studio, I knew exactly where I wanted to go. But I don't, I don't paint from photographs or pictures or anything. It's all through memory of just remembering places. Right. I'm not even consciously going. Okay, I love. I'm looking at this place and I think this will come out later. It's just it goes in. Stay there, then you go off and see another pace that goes in, right. and eventually you sort of sculpture. That's what I would do with paint. I sort mm -hmm. of uh, push it around, take it off, and try and get shapes and uh, layers and stuff like that. And eventually, That's, then I, yeah. I, when I'm, look, I'm looking at it afterwards, I realize okay, this is a landscape painting of somewhere. It could be yeah, the west, it could be the south, be anywhere, you know. But most of the artists, when we have a look at their, their studio space, they have loads of pictures and loads of reference. But with your studio, I was surprised not to yeah. see that. So everything is, no, I is memory. Yeah. I've never, uh, I've never, I've tried it once or twice. I've tried to go down and do sketches, but I'm not, I can't paint. So, in the sense of being able to sketch and draw and stuff like that. So, there's no point in me doing it because it always turns yeah. out rubbish. Yeah. So then I'll just go into the studio on a bigger canvas and, and push paint around and take it off. It's all a layering process. Yeah. And it takes a while. And then eventually, you know, you'll see it's some like, mountains in there yeah. and you'll see the clouds and then eventually mm -hmm. turns into a landscape. I always, uh, yeah, I, years ago, I remember what you used to, you said you used to use your hands quite a lot. And I remember one piece you dropped into the gallery and you said you put your body and soul into it. And I, I could really see that in the painting. It felt like you had. Yeah. Yeah, I still yeah, use I still use the dead. hands. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still use the hands. I use rags now as well and I use um mm. uh card. So I'm I, like when I'm pressing down onto the canvas, that's what I remember we used to say I used to have to stretch the canvases overboard and then paint yeah, I paint on the flat. Yeah. So I'll be painting down on so I have to put uh, a board underneath it to protect the, the canvas and then later yeah. restretch it onto a canvas uh, stretcher bar. And, uh, but it's all do done you, with cards, rags. Uh, and, and do you have a in, preference? You know? Do you prefer to paint on board or canvas? What does it? Um, it depends. When I'm, I'm painting a lot on canvas, I like the start of it and then I get bored of it. And I like, I like, yeah. I like the, the hardness of the board. And there's a different different texture, obviously, on the board as well. So, yeah, sometimes I like the board, and then sometimes it depends. On the bigger ones now, the bigger ones are always done on canvas. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the small ones I learned them on board. It's just easier to work on, you know. And um, with, I remember for our Christmas show, you 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 really didn't want to do the the small canvases, and they turned out fantastic because they were like little studies. Um, and you were just yeah, saying was, there that you don't sketch work out, but. It felt like that was what yeah. it was, um, and I thought that yeah, obviously they all sold and they were fantastic. But I was in t I was actually intimidated by the size. What was it? Six <laughs> foot four? Twenty five. Yeah, centimeters. Yeah, and I was like, you know what I mean? To get my hand around this stuff, but it actually worked out great. The first, the yeah. first one that we did, I was blown away. I thought, is that's great. Yeah. And then we did a series. Yeah. I think we did. Was it six we did? I think it was eight. Yeah, I think you did a bit more. Eight. Yeah. yeah. And it was lovely. I really enjoyed it at the end of it. But you know, it's I prefer the bigger scale. Yeah, of painting. I think I just, I, I, uh, clients always seem to prefer bigger, bigger ones than from you as well. So bigger works. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think there's more you, depth in them. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're stunning. They're absolutely. And you, I mean, you're originally from Cal or Dublin, Ringsend, and you. Excuse me, Kells. Dublin, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the studio, a studio in Dublin. I lived in, born in Dublin, lived in Dublin, had a studio in Dublin up till about fourteen years ago, and then we moved out to Kells here, and I have a studio out the back of the house. Um, yeah, your studio is lovely. Yeah, it's been great. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I've got because it's sort of split in half. It does. It's for music one end, and then I was art. I just about to end. say that. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're obviously the music is a big part of your life as well. But do you? Yeah. Is that where you play the guitar as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. set up. A, I've done a little uh, home recording studio in there, so I can yeah. record music as well. And okay. that was a good. That was one. That was main thing. Exact uh, through the lockdown was. Mm -hmm. 
just to be more just to get out get your own headspace get into doing music and doing art because it can get a bit dark at the days when you know we were all in lockdown Mm. i'm sure for everyone it was the same you know yeah so just yeah it was hard at the start and they didn't do a lot of work but yeah now they're finding that that yeah they they know where they're at and they can they can get into it now again yeah yeah no the music is important and i used to for years i used to paint to music as well but now i just i just like painting whether there's music on or not it's mainly the radio that's on at the at the time I'm painting. you don't have your own music on but there was the music <laughs> no not yet <laughs> when we release the first album we'll get it up and i'll paint to that that'll be interesting so I presume you have a few pieces on the go all the time, or do you start a piece and finish it, or what? What? How does it work? How does it begin? This is we were talking about this before with the with the the lockdown as well. I have a lot more time with the paintings. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So n- normally we used to do a lot of when we were doing the shows in England and stuff, and we'd send them over, mm. and uh, there was always one or two that would come back. Mm. And you sort of look at them and go, you know what? That was so, that wasn't that wasn't really ready to go. Whereas mm. now with the lockdown, I have a lot more time to spend with them, you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. another thing yeah. I've done yeah. is, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll start the painting, and normally I would always try and finish it. Mm-hmm. Now I will stop the painting, put it away, and start a new one. Yeah. And it's it's amazing. Maybe nine times out of ten, the painting's already finished. Whereas I think I might need work and I'll put it away and then I'll look at it again. And especially when I'm getting them all framed, I'll leave it till I'm getting them framed and then I'll have another look at them. And nine, nine, yeah. nine out of ten times, they're finished. But to have that extra time in the studio with them mm. has made a huge difference because then you can alter them yeah. if they need to be yeah. altered, you know. Whereas because we were, and it's not a complaint, Denise, because we were selling goods, but yeah. they, were moving, they were moving fast and we were sort of going, yeah, Someone, it was kind of too fast. Yeah, yeah, but they yeah, were always the ones that like... never really did. So we, I always get them back, and the ones I always get back off you, I'll either either start them, restart them again, scrape everything off, and restart them again. So I don't have loads of stock. I don't have loads of studio full of paintings. When yeah. I get them back, I'll redo them, or else I'll That's add in little that. touches or stuff. You know what I mean? That's the thing. I think, yeah, it was always deadline after deadline. So it's nice to just slow down and yeah. and just concentrate. Yeah, but I think the the, the work. work benefits the work. Yeah, the work benefits yeah. more out of that, you know. And is is your family creative? I'm, or are you the only artist in your family? Only artist in the family. Only musician in the family as well. Really, we, we tried to trace it back. Yeah, tried to yeah. trace it back, and no, I think my granny played a bit of piano. Wow. But that's it. There's no other. There's no other. Uh, no. So I don't know wow. where it's come from. And yeah. but your kids now are they're they're quite creative as well, aren't they? They're they're showing. Yeah, signs. Maya would. Maya would be the artist. I think she was Zoom with you selling a couple of paintings at this stage. She <laughs> <even bought> <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't give me. Yeah, she she. <laughs> lo- <laughs> no, she loves she loves painting. Um, Scott's into sports. Yeah, but she's definitely yeah. the, she's definitely the creative. She plays music now as well. So you're passing it on. Um, yeah. One of the yeah you you work quite uh, you have done a few commissions for uh, Ventura Design, which Arlene there has been super, who has such a passion about your work. Um, yeah. And sometimes I remember there was one uh, commission that she uh, had asked. If you know, if you could bring a little bit of, of pink into the work, and you had said no way, <laughs> I don't think that was what you said. And then you surprised yeah, us. It's it actually it actually oh, scared me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, I thought, why not? You know, I'll try it. And yeah. the pink that I used was a, uh, but the way the way I mixed it in with the other paints, it sort of toned down a lot, so it wasn't like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby no. pink, this yeah. pink, that. but it really worked, and I really enjoyed. It. And it, the casting thing was that led on to about four or five paintings that were really. Yeah. I'm very yeah. happy with those paintings, you know. I think I sold them all. I think at this stage, but the, that painting the in the one. Sorry. Say again. The new series you have with the you've got quite a lot of blue in it. So, 
yeah. well, how does that yeah. work? Do you get to, from, you go from pink to blue to browns to how does it? How do you decide? It does a, uh, this sounds strange, but when you're in the middle of the painting, you just pick up a color beside you. You don't know which color it is, mm. and you'll put it on and sort of go. You know that works. <clears throat> and all the way it, it, it just that blue was just there and i really like it mm. and the way it tones in with the painting as well so it was just the color that was there i wasn't conscious about it i wasn't going to go okay i'm going to series of paintings with blue uh, oh, really? it didn't right. work that way yeah yeah and then the, there's other ones with red and now the new i'm doing a new series of paintings uh i think it's all sent one or two of them over at the moment the new ones and they're all black and gray yeah yeah. Because I did a lot, of, I did nine or ten, nine or ten paints with all those colors, and I just wanted to bring it back to the basics again and just yeah. experiment and try and do just use two, two, three different colors mm -hmm. and uh, work, work it that way. And I really enjoy those paintings, yeah, because they're, they, they're, they're like, um, they're like negatives basically of um, landscapes, yeah, yeah. And, and just from, I mean, I obviously am a, a you, I knew your work for years and always loved it, and uh. We went to a few of your your shows um gosh 10 years ago i'd say over 10 years ago yeah um, and the work's quite different isn't it from it's progressed completely yeah. different to what it was yeah i think it's gone from where i was trying i was learning like i haven't don't get me wrong i haven't sort of gone right i've i've, I've sussed what i'm doing now because mm. it's all it's all it's always learning and that's the great thing about that it. And that's, yeah yeah yeah, and that's the great thing about music as well. You're always learning music and you're always learning art and you just you just keep going. And I think that's what keeps you going is yeah. that mi mystery of what will it be next. Like, I'd hate I'd hate to get to the stage where I go to the canvas and I know exactly what I'm going to paint and I know exactly what it's going to finish. Like, I don't want to be like that. I want to, I want to experiment at, while I'm painting. And then, you know, the painting tells you when it's finished. Yeah. So the book has changed, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the, the piece behind you there. Yeah. How old is that piece there, that, the image of it? From, that was 2009. That was my first solo show in Dublin. Really? That was after, after yeah, that was the the first trip I'd done down to Kilrick. That was the painting. Mm -hmm. That series of, of paintings was done down there. It's funny how that has a huge effect on on many artists. Some artists said they they don't sometimes they don't even paint down there, but they get they paint a huge amount when they come back because they're just so inspired. Yeah. Well, there, there was always a thing where you, like I'd pack the van and I'd I'd sort of panic. I'd be going right. I have to go down here and have to paint. And after the second or third time, even if you go down with a book and don't bring any paint with you. It recharges you then when you come back to the studio, then you can paint, you know. Yeah. Uh, you don't, like the whole idea is, the, is it, it's a retreat. You don't have to, you don't have to walk when you're down there. It's it's just to mm -hmm. get, give yourself uh, time just to get uh, used to the surroundings, take it take it all in. Obviously, if you want, like, there's a beautiful studio down there in, in yeah. each of the cottages. So you can walk. Yeah. But um, yeah. if you want to go down, I've, I've seen people down, like I've met writers down there. I've met musicians down there. I've met artists, obviously, obviously, and some will go down with a load of work. Others will go down with one or two paintings just to finish for a uh, show. So it, it depends on what you want, you want. Like, there's no pressure. That's the great yeah. thing about it down there, and you're yeah. left alone. And um, what about like you? See, we were just talking about commissions there. Do you mind doing yeah. commissions? Yeah. <laughs> I used to. I used to. I used to hate doing them. <laughs> I remember you used to say to me, will you, will you do this painting? There's a, I don't know, the fear is that it sort of restricts you, you know, when someone says to you yeah. they need a painting and it has to be this sort yeah. of colour and like that. Like if someone, like what yeah. we do for Ventura, I'll always do two or three paintings. Yeah, that's right. And, give and, them all, and they, yeah. they, can they can pick a painting then. Mm -hmm. And if I was doing commissions, that's what I'd like to do. And I'd like to do something on what would they would want me to do and then something what i would want to do and then hopefully yeah. a mix of and that's the, how it's what we do together so well. yeah, yeah i think that's, yeah. That, you know that's the understanding i suppose when people commission an artist it's they have to trust that artist uh, to give them their own artistic yeah. license as well um, well it's not so there it's not there it's not their painting if, if someone says to me i want 
pink on this side and blue on that side and red on that side. You know, I can do that, but it's not my painting. It's their painting. Exactly. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah completely. And what, like, what is the, the largest the, uh, commission you've ever done? Like size-wise, what, what would it be? was the Ventura one for London. Right. Really? That was oh, yeah, the biggest one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the and biggest. Yeah, that was the biggest commission. No, no, I, I, I thrive on, on big, big. The bigger, the better, you know. The big paintings are the better ones. Like we've sold a load of the big ones. They went to New York and stuff. Yeah. Um. And my, my worry was, how are they going to get over there? <laughs> but they seem to arrive safely. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so what's the next? But the plan? painting in London. The, the, Sorry again. <laughs> no, just get just getting back to just getting back to the Ventura painting. Yeah. Like with the, with that pink when I was ringing you, going, I'm not doing pink, and then we <laughs> did do pink, and it worked out beautifully. And I took a photograph, and I was just I was I was blown away, but I really liked that paint, you know. Yeah. And when every time Ventura they put them, they put it up on their website a lot. Mm. You know, you get proud of paintings, and I'm proud of that painting. I like that painting. Yeah. You know? Well, I think you you know you have to you want you know you want to look back at that in ten years time and say yeah it's still a excellent yeah. painting it's important yeah yeah that it stands its time really yeah so definitely. What, definitely what's your next plan are you preparing for any other shows or well we're doing we're going to show the new work when are we showing that new work next the end of August or something is it for you for the Darby Gallery. Yeah. This week. Is it? This week? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> the lion keeps breaking up there. <laughs> I know. There's a slight delay. But anyway, that gives it a, a bit more an interesting chat. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just, no, I'm just going to paint. I'm just, I'm just, I'm loving that there's no. Pressure. Like we, have we got shows coming up in London and stuff? Are they all cancelled by this? Stage with the COVID. Yeah, I suppose we don't know. Yeah, we just we have to take week by week in the, in this type of atmosphere yeah. at the moment. So yeah, we just have to wait and see if we're all going ahead with the shows. It's so far we are. Yeah, well, but... look, I'm just I'm just enjoying the the, the painting. That's there's no yeah. there's no shows. There's no nothing coming up. I'm just painting yeah. it anyway. So that's I'm yeah. enjoying that. You know. And I'm excited so you, about this new work as well that yeah. you're going to show. And I'm excited mm. about the new work that you haven't seen that mm. in the next couple of weeks I'm going to get over. Because I just got all the frames there today, so we're going to put it all together soon, you know. So you do your own framing as well? Well, I use my own frame. I get the frames made now, but I put everything together. I just get the raw frame and then I, I'll, mm. I'll stretch it up and put all the frame. I paint the frames as well. Yeah, yeah. Just to take that whiteness off. Sometimes I think the white is a bit too white, you know. I know. Yeah. What about what about titles, Ken? Is that is that important to you? Titles are the vein of my life. I hate. Them. <laughs> if I had my That's way, I'd have important. them all lands landscape one to one hundred. <laughs> yeah, I remember. No, because I, I don't like. I don't. I don't have. Like some people go, oh, that's a lovely painting of West Cork and stuff like that. And to me, yeah. it's not West Cork. It could be, there could be the mountains Anywhere. of West Cork and a river in Kerry and the, the sky in Galway. So I just, um, I do pick titles. I have a list of titles that I, mm. I'll paint the painting and then I'll match the title to the painting. Okay. Afterwards. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't title and it before the painting. No. No, because it'll be untrue if I said like West Cork, County Dublin, or something like that. It, it's not, you know. And you know, your your work is international, so you don't want to, you know, just tie it down to. Even though the Irish landscape is the, is has inspired you hugely, but you don't want to title it. Yeah, to it. well, I'd hope if I hope internationally, if people look at the work, they'll know straight away that it's an Irish painter mm -hmm. who's painted an Irish landscape. Mm -hmm. And then for me, it's it's looking at it could be a movement, it could be shadow. A lot of yeah. the titles would be shadows because it is mainly shadows casting onto landscape. Yeah. So a lot of the titles would have shadows in it, movement. Um, mm. I don't know whatever the whatever I see in the painting afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
would be the would be where the title would come from. And I'd have a list of titles that I'd already have picked yeah. out in my head. But preferably I would like the landscape number one, <laughs> landscape number two, and let people make up their own mind of what it is, you know. Yeah. That to me is yeah, more important yeah. is what yeah. they get out of the painting, you know. Exactly. Like I've had people come yeah. up to me looking at paintings and seeing stuff that I've never seen. Which is which is great when they see something. Yeah, that's what you want, you know. I mean that's it's yeah. what the yeah gets from it. Yeah, it's more it's more personal it's like to them. Then. Connection, isn't it? Like you know, if the if the customer connects to the painting, then that's all art yeah. should really do. Yeah, and it could be it could be they were on holiday and they remember a landscape in their head, yeah. and they come into the gallery and sooner they arrived on, and that's the connection, you know. That's it. That's the memory. Oh well, thank yeah. you, Kevin. It's been really, really good chatting to you and getting a good insight to the work. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun week. And um, the new work is just absolutely stunning. So well done. Not looking forward to uh, seeing you all in the gallery. <laughs> and come here. Thanks a million for doing this. This is a great yeah, idea as well to get oh, you know you, people. Oh, it's brilliant that everyone's I... agreed to it. <laughs> just yeah. Well, I was. I don't know if I'm the last one to do it because I was I hated doing this type no, of stuff. Well, I, I knew I had to wait a few weeks before I could ask you, but <laughs> we got there. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. No, it's <laughs> great. I really enjoy Yeah, but it's I think this is the way we're gonna to have to go in future Absolutely. with this until we yeah. get sorted. But until it's been great it, and it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh thanks, Ken. All right, really appreciate it. No worries, Denise. I'll talk Bye. to you soon, okay? Bye. See you.